This is a Saturday morning TV log from Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. Welcome to another Saturday morning TV log, and this time around it's Kid Video, brought to us by Deke and Saban. Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. My name's Doyle, better known to as the Big D, and this time it's it's time for another Saturday morning TV log. This is Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. But anyway, um, so today's Saturday morning TV log is Kid Video. Probably one of the most, well, how should I put it this way? Long lost tunes of the 80s in my view. Uh, it's a Saturday morning live action animated series created by Deke along with Saban. The show originally premiered on NBC in September of 1984. In the show, four teenagers from the real world, band called Kid Video, are taken into a strange dimension called the flip side. And become cartoon characters forced to fight the sinister Master Blaster and his fel felonious feline colleagues, the copycats. And show included then current music videos. Anyway, the tile sequence explained the plot. Kid Via, which that's also the name of the main character, and his band, which um, Kid is the leader, plus Carla, his girlfriend, Ash, and Wiz. They're played by live action performers in the first half of the title sequence. They were practicing in a storage unit when an anime villain named the Master Blaster appeared and transported them to his home dimension, a cartoon world called the Flip Side. And he plans to use them, the band, them, the band as his musical slaves forever. But they were rescued by a fairy named Glitter, and subsequently spent each episode of the series either helping the, to free the denizens of the flip side from the Master Blaster's rule, or trying to find a way back home to the real world. And the show was dominated by an MTVS music video theme. Now, unfortunately, as a kid, I don't recall. See, seeing MTV. Now, the only way I got to see music videos was on Nick Rocks. Each episode featured at least one action sequence set to a popular song, and the heroes would often distract their enemies by showing current music videos and sneak off while the enemies were in trance. Each episode also ended with a live action music video by the band. Other pop cultural current events featured heavily in the show as well. The characters often break danced to relax roll on skateboards, and one episode was devoted entirely to video games. The visual style of the cartoon itself was heavily influenced by the more surreal videos shown on MTV and by album artwork of the era by artists like Roger Dean. The band was created specifically for the show. They performed their own songs and they provided the voices for the cartoon counterparts. At the end of some episodes, the live live action band, excuse me, would be shown once again performing a music video that includes such as a little TLC or You Better Run, which that's one of my favorites, or the or um, an actual extended version of the, the theme song Video to Radio. Now the music videos produced were produced by the band, and then became very popular in Israel, which then produced fan merchandise such as coloring books and chocolate bars with images of the band. There would actually also be an album. Now, let's see here. Now, most of the song soundtrack was written by Haim Saban and Shuki Levy, who, of course, were People who worked on Saban and Deke's shows. They had already recently done work on other shows from Deke, like Inspector Gadget and also Heathcliff, which I believe came out the same year, and The Lils as well. They had also recently worked on Ruby Spears' Mr. T cartoon, which was also on NBC at the time, and Filmation's He-Man, The Masters of the Universe. Let's see... Now, the show was originally supposed to be called Hot Rocks. Anyway, and soon it was changed to Kid Video. Anyway, I don't know if we ever did get to see the gang return to the real world. After 26 episodes were produced and aired, 
your entity season run the show ended in December of 1985. But however, the show continued in reruns until 1987, and then CBS picked it up for reruns. And then it later went to syndication. Now, VHS tapes with a single episode were released in the U.S. And there were even Spanish language tapes. You can find some episodes on YouTube. Well, excluding the music video sequences, some of them were actually taken from their actual NBC showings, as a matter of fact, which I encountered, which was one of the first things I encountered when I checked out YouTube years back before I started doing videos. Anyway, I'll never forget how much um, I enjoyed this show. This was one of my favorite shows growing up, and I really enjoyed this. And of course, some... Um, Kid Video released an album on CBS Records in Israel, and the band reportedly toured there. Now, our, now, the, now the main cast for Kid Video, voicing the, top, the main leader, Kid Video, is Brian Scott. Voicing Ash is Steve Alterman. Voicing Carla is Gabriella Nelson. Most of them we don't know who they are. The only one we're familiar with is the the guy who plays Wiz, and that's not, and can you believe it? I didn't know this was him. It's Cousin Oliver from the Brady Bunch, Robbie Rist, who also did numerous other TV shows. Actually, right about the time, I think just before this, or maybe during his, or before he was on, I think before or during his time on Kid Video, he actually appeared in an episode of NBC's hit sci-fi action series, Night Rider which I will be talking about down the TV log next month. Also in the, in the cast, there's Michael Bell, Kathy Cavadini, who voiced Glitter. Now, I do seem to recall who Kathy Cavadini is, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, of course, she's best. she, was, she would later be best known as the voice of Blossom in the in the original version of the Powerpuff Girls, she also voiced Tanya Moskowitz in American Tale, Five Goes West, and its spin-off series, Five American Tales. Let's see. Now, of course, there's also, let's see, Hal Rail voicing the Toolbot, which was introduced in the second season. Pierre Renade voiced the Master Blaster. Now then, of course, the three copycats. Robert Towers plays Cool Kitty. Marshall Afron voices Fat Cat. And Susan Sillo, who recently voiced Sue in Hanna-Barbera's Pac-Man cartoon, which that happened to have just been canceled, had just been dropped from ABC that same year, voices She-Line. Anyway, let me give you a better look at some of the characters. Give me a minute. Now, here's what Kid Video looks like in the actual real world, as you can see. Yes. Now, give me a second. I'll show you another pic. Now, here's the look at their animated counterparts. This is actually what they looked like in the first season. And you can't really see much of her, just the back. It's glitter. Kind of a cute one. She got him out of their predicament with a little sneeze. She sneezes sometimes. I almost forgot to point that out. And here's what the band looked like for the second season. Yeah, just a few slight changes to their looks and why but still with the same outfits, though. Okay, now here's a better look at Glare. That's what Glare looks like. Yeah, pretty cute, huh? Now, here are the copycats. Yeah, those three are always up to something, always trying to steal songs, especially from Kid Video, what? Now, I'm sorry this pick so small. I'm trying to give you a better look. That's the Master Blaster, who, of course, that's the villain of the show, the copycat's boss. So now you see what Kid Video is like. And again, I grew up watching this show, and I'll always have fond memories of the show, especially its theme song, Video Radio, which that song is still cool. Anyway, now that you know what this show is like, what are, what are your thoughts on this show? Did you ever watch Kid Video? You can let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, 
and be a part of the Big D Nation. Stay tuned, I'll have another video coming up soon. And if, if it happens, you will get a spoiler-free review of the new movie Bullet Train next. Maybe. But stay tuned, okay? So anyway, thanks for watching, and if you like this, consider checking out these other Saturday morning TV logs. In the upper left-hand corner is the Saturday morning TV log for the Mr. T cartoon. The upper right-hand corner is the Pac-Man cartoon Saturday morning TV log, which I've heard is supposed to get a book out real soon. That sounds pretty cool. Anyway, or go to the bottom, or click the bottom left-hand corner and see last week's Saturday morning TV log in the form of In Chai Private Eye. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., as well as the Saturday morning TV log, then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching, and next week's Saturday morning TV log is. My Max. So until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.